done like thousands of comics for shows and reserves and then a gas pump going into Obama's 2012 campaign. Does that have anything to do with this campaign for re-election? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of... I know, aren't the waves absolutely gorgeous? Unfortunately, we do not think we'd get waves anymore. I know, here, you can get me out here. I know, but I don't have the, we don't have the base, we don't have the base for this camera, which means we can't do anything. Oh! Which means even though we got another gorgeous day, this is an import right off the bat. So. And then the Supreme Court says there's a ban on violent video games, and they're unconstitutional for selling to well, that's minors. Hard. Well, because they're, they, they basically just uh, arbitrarily said it. They didn't have, there's no real evidence. They just picked, uh, they picked an age group and did that and did this. I mean, first of all, there's already a warning from the game industry about it. And they didn't like the warnings. So they decided to make them illegal. What? Yeah. That, the state of California, I mean, they're getting ready to make more things illegal. And they're going to make uh, violent movies illegal in uh, San Francisco now, I think. Are you serious? So you won't be able to show any action movie in the city. Wait a minute. Well, you know, I just saw that they were banning, what is it, furry pets and what? They're all pets are going to be banning in, um, in San Francisco. Dogs, cats, anything like that. I, I think they've been banning, like, goldfish. Yep. They've heard all of your name, like they're banning them in San Francisco. So that's how it works. So. I think they're kind of off the rocker. I think they said that they wanted the people to buy, the, get the animals from shelters and not from pet stores. So, that's, so they banned the ownership of them. So I know. That basically means you pet, you know, they put pet stores all out of business. Well, the pet stores can do other things, but that's, that's Obama. You can retrain these people for green jobs. I know. And Obama wants money for robot investment. This is a week after he condemned ATMs, which are robots, from taking jobs from tellers, which basically what he did not... not Nobody, see, what happens is he doesn't use his teleprompter and he puts his foot in his mouth. He didn't realize that the, the ATM machines aren't taking the place of tellers and they added like a hundred thousand jobs for people to service the ATM machines. Are you serious? Yeah, it added jobs, didn't take away. When he found out, he didn't apologize. He just uh, ignored the fact that he'd made another political blunder. But that was his week when everything that he said was a total mistake. Chavez in critical but stable condition. Well, not according to his supporters in Venezuela, that they don't know what anybody's talking about. He went there for minor surgery, and he's, he's you know, he's like the El Toro the Bull, and, well, they're planning his successor, so that would tend to make you think that there's a problem. And AP's GFK poll, people divided on looming debt prices. Well, yeah, the people that are being supported by the government say you've got to fix that, you've got to pass the deal no matter what. And the people that aren't being supported by the government and paying all the bills say, you know, you've got to cut spending. As the president himself this morning said, we, the, the Republicans must learn that you have to compromise. Mm -hmm. They said Republicans. He didn't say Democrats. He said Republicans must learn. They must compromise, which means no cutting of spending and adding of taxes. The economy is growing and jobs are being created. Not according to anybody that's unemployed, they're not. Every week the unemployment figures goes higher, and yet uh, the heat jury rigs it so it won't go above a certain percentage. So. And two kids call their mom from President Obama's limousine. Which shouldn't have happened. I mean, it's total. I mean, this president is doing everything he can do in order to try to drum up votes. I mean, you know, making the phony baby stopping the baby crying taking kids home from school with the president's limousine. They would never allow anybody into that limousine uh -uh. that wasn't pre-approved, no matter what age they are, folks. That's right. And Democrats plan to dig the hole deeper that Bush and the Republicans are currently causing so that they can fix all the problems they cause. I, I know. Uh, that there was no, they, they have no intentions of cutting spending. They're adding spending and going to tax people to add more spending. Plus, they're now talking completely about, you know, that if you just flat out forgave the mortgages on all these people that supported Obama for president, that it would solve the mortgage crisis and people would have more money to spend 
and they would be out, the economy would be growing because you forgave all the mortgages. They forgot about, what about all the people that own those mortgages that won't get their money? Uh, you know, was it, they said like there's two trillion dollars in mortgages Obama wants to forgive now. Are you serious? Yeah. FTC lets Microsoft proceed with the purchase of Skype. Because nobody wants the thing. Yeah. I mean, if nobody wants it, it's like, uh, you know, tr everybody trying to force the uh, uh, Echo Star from not buying Blockbuster. Uh, Blockbuster would be totally out of business if Echo Star didn't want to buy it. Speaking of Microsoft, they're getting ready to open up a new store here in LA in Century City this week. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to be doing in this store. I don't know, but one of the Jonas Brothers is going to be there. Oh, which Ooh. one? The one that drives the car? The whose handler wouldn't let anybody get near him except the mainstream you know press? I don't know. I'd have to go ahead and take a look at that one. And bus size asteroid to pass extremely close to Earth. Now, but don't worry. That it, it can't possibly hit us. They call that, you know, uh, you know, expect Lorenzo Lamas to be starring in that movie, or Tiffany, or Debbie Gibson. And Democrats push for jobs package and taxes on the rich oil and business in debt bill. I know. I mean, they, they just want to. They just want to tax and spend. They don't. I mean, here it is. The only people in the country that don't get the idea that the problem is, uh, is is the Democrats. But I love this. They. Uh, the uh, lifeguards forced the guy off the beach up onto the tower now. The one that we know is a, how do you know it's a police officer uh, at a lifeguard stand and not a lifeguard? First, there's no canister up. Second, he brings his car and parks it. Third, he's massively overweight. And fourth, the guy isn't even dressed like a lifeguard. Well, then what makes you think he was a lifeguard? Well, obviously somebody didn't because the lifeguards came from the station way down the line and sat there and give him a lecture for about 20 minutes, so. And death toll expected to rise in Amtrak collision in Nevada. Yeah, well, they, you know, six people. And I love this. Here's a good one. Well, the company that the guy was driving for has citations. Well, every trucking company has citations. Well, yeah, because they drive so much. That's right. You can't get away from having citations. And U.S. law firm spent $7 million to sue Walmart. Yeah, and then they're 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 wanting Walmart to reimburse them for the suit that they did. Well, the Wait, who won? The uh, Walmart won. But well, the problem, they're not going to get reimbursed. The problem is, is that Walmart restricted class action suits to class action suits. What they did with a bunch of women who didn't get promoted, I think seven or eight, filed in behalf of every woman that works at Walmart. They didn't ask the women if they wanted to be included. They just filed on their behalf. You actually have to have the people that want to be involved in a class action suit join the suit. Yeah, for it to be class action suit. They didn't. They just filed on their behalf. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, did they get kicked out? Well, it got tossed out. They Basically, it's changed the face of class action suits. Well, you actually have, a class, have to have a class action to file a class action suit. I mean... Most of them are. Who else would have thought about filing for class action when they weren't a class action? I guess a lot of people one. now, the lawyers figure out, we'll file on behalf of everybody, then we'll get tons of money. Instead, it's backfired on them. And of course, now it's ruled, you must first acquire the status of a class action before you can file a class action suit, which is simple. I mean, I've been involved in a lot of them where they you buy something and then they sit there and tell you, you know, it's, it's faulty and you want to be included in a suit and they send you out a thing and you basically sign it. And gay marriage in New York to be a national issue. Yeah, but not the direction that they're hoping. It's going to be a national issue simply because the Democrats have proceeded to piss off all of the people that are on their, uh, and that support the party. The black Americans don't like gay marriage. Latinos don't like gay marriage. And basically, well, these people have to vote for Obama and the Democrats. Well, no, they can just simply decide not to vote. And if enough of them decide not to vote, every Democrat in the country gets swamped because of the, like one of the guys I did hear he say, this, this was a, a really miserable time for them to buy off two Republicans. Well, because it wouldn't have, they could have blamed it on the Republicans. Instead, what happens, they bought off two Republicans who are becoming members of the Democratic Party now to cast the deciding votes on gay marriage, which they will lose when they have a vote of the people in New York. There were 37 for 37 state votes on the banning of the... Nobody cares about civil unions, but what they did was uh, they're wanting full marriage. And they, you know, like they said, they had to agree as it is 
that the churches do not have to allow or recognize such marriages. Conservatives limit consumer and rights lawsuits. Uh, now the Democrats are basically saying the Republican Supreme Court, which is why we have to change the Supreme Court so that the people will be the winners. No, uh, every suit has to do with restricting the rights of the people. So that's that's how that works. So. And a monster bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I always like this one. How do you know when a politician is lying to you? Just wait and watch for his lips to start to move.